So then I'm writing about characteristics here. Mm -hmm. And then these are my outcomes. Like, see, I did a subgroup analysis. I'm writing about the subgroup here. And then I'm writing about funnel plots. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why I did aggregate test. And then I'm writing discussion. So the first uh, paragraph of the discussion is mm -hmm. just the descriptive form of your results. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Yes, yes. And then you're going to talk about all the discussions, basically. Mm -hmm. So for today, I want you to just like read this whole meta analysis. Okay. okay. Let me, let me, because the best way for understanding will be once you're going to read the full manuscript. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to teach you step by step from the search strategy onwards. Okay. So which type okay. Of this is, is this Yase? Pardon? Which type of meta analysis is this? This is conventional binary outcome meta analysis. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm sending you three, four samples. So I want you to read all of them. Okay. All right, guys, this is the standard mean difference meta analysis sample. Where you need a mean and the standard deviation, okay? Okay. Now, if the if the paper have median, you can convert it to the means also. There's something called a Hoso equation. Mm -hmm. Median to mean, and there are free Hoso calculators online. Online convert me median to me. Just these ones, right? Mm -hmm. So you can use those calculators, okay? Yeah, these ones. Yeah, see, this is a Hoso equation, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you have to cite this reference. So read this title. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, appendage appendage closure with the uh, CT versus echo. Okay. So that one you can see N is the sample. So first number is the sample. Second number is the mean. The bracket number is the standard deviation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sample, mean, standard deviation. Okay, from sample, mean and standard deviation, we can calculate the system is calculated the standard mean difference, right? Exactly. exactly. Uh, and the weight, well, what is the weight? Oh, wait, don't worry. Like how much each study is contributing to this pooled result? Yes. So weight, I mean, you can get the weight or don't, it doesn't matter that much. But it, it depends on the number of uh, the sample size in each paper or something else? Pardon? The weight depends on the sample size in each paper like it depends like no no it depends on how much each study is contributing to this pooled effect okay 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 so you can see this kind of like different outcomes i'm seeing i will and then see within the same paper i'm doing a binary outcome analysis also because half of the data was mean defense and half of the data was this one Okay. So I'm combining two strategies here. Right? Okay. So for today, I will say just read those two samples, which I uploaded. Just double check you have access to the data folder or no? 
Yes, yes, sir. Let me check. I think I have. Uh, yes, I have. Thanks, sis. Please make sure you go through both of these papers, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I have another paper. Let me show you guys. It's called summary statistics. Summary statistics meta analysis. So overall, how many types of meta analysis? Yes. There's like so many. There's like so many. I'll mm -hmm. teach you step by step. Mm -hmm. Um. So hold on. So is there something like, okay, if the outcome is talking about this, then how we identify that which meta-analysis can be used for what kind of variable? Once you do the data section, sorry. Once you do the data section, you'll get to know. Once okay. you see the data sheets, okay? okay. I'll send you data sheets too. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, should be COVID loss. Then I offer a separate course for diagnostic equation meta analysis. If you guys are interested in that later on, it's, it's very, you will be able to publish in a really big journals if you do this kind of thing. Um, but it's called diagnostic? It's called diagnostic accuracy meta analysis. Okay. So where you're comparing diagnostic test mm -hmm. and you're seeing which one is the best. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see this guys? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. We can see that. Okay. I will upload for you so that you can go through it and then read it. Let me see what operating codes. So I think let's start with binary outcome and then when then we gradually move to the advanced ones. Yeah, you're gonna, so, so you're gonna just do the binary outcome with me like, cause that's the main one. Mm -hmm. Other ones are pretty much like, kind of like similar strategy. Mm -hmm. And when you need the analysis, I can help you with the analysis or something. Sure. So binary outcome is the main one. That's what you need to know. So this summary statistic meta-analysis, half of the data was given as odds ratios, 95% confidence intervals, and then I meta-analyzed those. That's what we call the, that's what we call the summary statistic meta-analysis. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between binary outcome and the summary statistics? So binary outcome are two by two tables, events and total, events and total for both the groups. Mm -hmm. And summary statistics, you already have the odds ratio. Binary outcome, you are calculating odds ratio. Okay. And summary statistics, the studies have given you odds ratio, but have not given you the events. So you're taking those odds ratios and 95% confidence interval and you're meta analyzing. Okay. So once you're gonna read it, like you're gonna, you're gonna understand. Okay.